Welcome to Seattle, Washington and Alaska Airlines Arena as we get you ready for some Thursday night basketball presented by Pacific Premier Bank. It is the 2-1 Washington Huskies and the undefeated 2-0 Wyoming Cowboys. And Young man plays with a lot of confidence. Here's down low, big man, 6'9", lefty. And we turn around fade away. That is just about impossible to stop. And EK on the board. Better great shots. Want him to settle. Jamal Bay, quick trigger three from the top of the key, and he knocks it in. Going to that dominant hand. Here's Bay on the baseline in traffic and gets it to go. They're both close to the same size down there. Good defense by Jamal holding his ground. Ducell hands off to EK. Nice pass and a better shot by the big man. I think. My I bad, Samford. Samford, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, this is an early start for the Pac-12 play. You know, it is an early start for the Pac-12 as Maldonado hits the deep ball. Here's EK turning, facing. Now we'll back down Roberts. Trying to go left. Roberts didn't let him, and then he snuck behind him anyway. Yeah. Four team fouls on Washington, two for Wyoming. Maldonado, free throw line now. Takes a dribble in the lane and knocks down the soft jumper. Coach Linder says he expects them to be better than that. He said, that's fine. <laughs> they can uh, undervalue us. And a nice put back there by Langston Wilson. Well, I think that's the nicest possession Washington has had all night here. Just great ball movement and again, a great follow up by Langston Wilson. But on the other end, that's too easy. He's a competitor there, at least. I think Husky fans are going to like him. Kid from Garfield High School. He has been playing. Got to send help, please. That's just too easy. I mean, the guy took three dribbles. You can't just sit out there on the perimeter and watch. So Quick shot. Washington on the run. Here's Brown pulling up. That is smooth. That's his game right there, at least. The mid-range pull-up jumpers going left. No block, because we know he's good down there. Here's Brown. Can't get that one to go, but Fuller grabs the offensive rebound, kicks it to Davis, and he sets that one home. Oh, nice job finishing. Strong. Right here, Washington has to send some help at least, because he's just going, he's just going to eat them for lunch down there. Oh, somehow he misses the bunny, but yeah. then gets his own board and the foul with the bucket for EK. He's got 17 after battling back through an ACL tear and joining the team midway through the season. He is just a sophomore. Brown at the buzzer, can't get it to go. And we head into halftime of Wyoming on a little flurry to end the first 20 minutes. They take a three-point lead, 34 to 31. Washington will take it gladly. Down by six, they feed it to Wilson down low with a pretty move to his right hand, and he flexes his muscles. Very poised against Washington's pressure so far. Ducell showing some quickness, gets into the lane and scores over Wilson. You aren't kidding, at least he's Points on the board here in 12 minutes, 18 seconds to go. Brown, really creative move, getting in the lane and then length and athleticism of UW has caused problems. Fuller flies in the lane and floats it in off glass. Uh, PJ Pick and roll situation, floats it over the top and then it's Roberts to finish it. Get two out of it for Roberts. That's just his third point of the night. Maldonado into the lane, and that was easy as you please. Uh, he's aggressive, at least. He sees of the season. Hunter Thompson. Underneath. Can't get it to roll in, but Brown there, and he gets the three point opportunity. Somehow he was in the right spot at the right time and is one of three overall. But yeah, those 20 points to go with three boards and two assists in the lane. Maldonado again. Oh, how did Maldonado, ladies and gentlemen, going to work? That time he faked the spin with a little hezzy. Fuller, and that was from way downtown beyond NBA. Take it over to Maldonado. He likes to post up as well, at least, as we see him just going right to the block and putting Cole Bassman in the basket. Point shooters was open, just couldn't count it. Look where Maldonado is going. He's going right back to the post like he's a big man. Jeffries pump fakes, now kicks it to EK. Ten on the shot clock, he goes left-handed, and yeah, that is just easy. way too easy yeah, in this game. And we're in the final minute. Big possession for Washington down two. Brown gets up in it and one! Terrell Brown tying it up less than a minute to go, and he knocks in the foul shot to take the lead. Been a fun game. 
if you stay in man to man, they get it down low to EK, working on Matthews Jr., and they get the foul. That's too late. Yeah, it's too late. It should have been defense. Let's hear you. EK is tight. There's no doubt about it. They got that one to go. We got a tied ball game here with 28 seconds left. All right, pick and roll. I get the feel that Mike Hopkins is going to let him go one on one. But no, here comes. Double team comes. He goes right by him, looking for the winner. And it falls off the rim. We're going to overtime. Wow. Look him up now. He just loves playing down there in the low post. Oh. With the jump hook from the guard oh. position. Oh. He's got 29 huge points tonight for us. He averaged 17 a game at Seattle U, but just seven last year. Oh, it was Odin. That was soft. Ball tipped out here. Eight on the shot clock to Brown. In the lane, turnaround jumper. Misses everything, but Wilson is there to clean it up. That's a really nice offensive rebound and put back by Langston Wilson. The second year in a row, they will head to a Pac-12 arena and get a win. Last year against Oregon State. This year against Washington, as they have a seven-point cushion, making five on the slam from Wilson. Well, that was falling asleep by Wyoming. I know Coach Linder and I can be happy about that. That was too easy. And they will just dribble this one out. And it is a Wyoming victory on the road. 77 to 72.